stepsister speaks out by Peg Crept. I'll be playing the part of the stepsister. Everybody always feels so sorry for that poor little Cinderella. But what about me? I deserve a little sympathy too. Does my fairy godmother ever turn up with a magic wand? Does the prince ever dance with me at the ball? Not on your life. The best I can hope for with my pumpkins is a decent piece of pie. And as for rats, well, rats are rats for their Sneaky eyes and skinny tails, nibbling and gnawing and garbage. I never saw one yet who turned into a coachman. If you ask me, that Cinderella is weird. She certainly isn't normal, besides the fact that she has naturally curly hair and wears size four and a half shoes. shoes She's so good-natured that it's downright sickening. If you had to dust and sweep and clean all day long, would you go around singing to the birds? Of course you wouldn't. No sensible person would. A lot of people think I'm jealous of her. Maybe I am, with good reason. I subsisted on 700 calories a day for three whole weeks before the ball. I did my leg lift exercises faithfully. I got a perm, a facial, a manicure, I even bought a new gown, blue vel velvet, designer label. I mean, I was ready. Princey, I thought to myself, here I come. And what happened? Little Cindy, who has never seen the inside of a health club in her life, doesn't know the caloric difference between a carrot stick and a chocolate eclair, whips together a dress after some old curtains from Kmart, and waltzes off to the ball and snags the prince. It isn't fair. It really is. 